And now a look at a high flyer competing at the Paris Olympics this summer. Pole vaulter Sandy Morris makes a living up in the air. Now Morris was born in Downers Grove. She already has an Olympic medal, but she says she is ready to reach new heights. When she's all alone on the runway, Sandy Morris's face is fierce. Morris of the USA, her second attempt at 485. That's a serious face. And that's a serious clearance for Morris. Wow! My uh, mentality when I'm vaulting is I feel like I'm going into battle. The biggest battle of Morris's career came right out of college at the Rio Olympics. I went out there and I just jumped free. If Morris goes clear at this height, she takes the gold medal. If she fails, she gets the silver. I don't even really know what touched the bar, right. but that bar just came off and I barely brushed it. That brief brush meant that Morris came home with silver. Still a dream come true for someone who says this sport chose her. I am stubborn as a bull. I will not give up. I will fail 57 times and get up 58. And so that is why the pole vault stuck is because I ain't no quitter as they say. <laughs> Morris was born in Downers Grove, the competitive daughter of a heptathlete and pentathlete at Western Illinois University. All I wanted to do was race little other little kids. Like I would go up to little my my sisters, friends, little brothers, I would pay them to race me. <laughs> and then I would dust them. Once she picked pole vault, there was no turning back. I'm like going out there to rip some heads off. But her own head would be tested when the pandemic pushed back the Tokyo Olympics. When they got postponed, it was a big deal. Now it worked out in favor for some athletes who were like, oh, thank God, I have another year to get ready. And for me, I was like, dang it, I'm ready now. When home training was all athletes could do, her dad <laughs> even built her a pit in his backyard. But nothing could prepare Morris for what she faced when she got to the games. Pole vault just getting back in action. Here is Sandy Morris. On her first attempt, her pole snapped. My whole career, I've probably taken, taken 15,000 to 20,000 jumps, and I've broken four poles. It's really, wow. really rare. When the pole broke, she hurt her hip, forcing her to withdraw. I was just crying because I just knew I was out, you know, and so I was trying to, like, absorb what was happening. I couldn't believe it was happening. So her last four years have been filled with dreams of another Olympic attempt, dreams that require so much sacrifice. I just moved back to Arkansas. I'm doing long distance with my husband so that I can be here training. He can't leave his job in Atlanta. So I, we're doing long distance, we're paying two mortgages, I'm uh, uh, making so many sacrifices to try to make this happen. But if reality meets that dream, Morris says she will feel no difference. What will all of that mean to you to be able to come out of this long odyssey in first place? I don't think it would ever feel real to me. If I'm able to go out there, if I do this, and I have to speak this way, when I do this, it's never going to feel real. So great to talk to Sandy. Didn't even have time to get into her husband is from Waukegan, but we'll hopefully talk to her again very soon for this summer. I'll be traveling to Paris to keep track of all of our local athletes opening ceremonies Friday, July 26th. More Olympic stories. Yeah, every and you're Friday. working hard on hey, all of those yeah, stories. It's so been much. fun. It's yeah. been so much fun to get to know these athletes. So really looking forward to it. Every Friday we'll have stories here at 430.